Cancer. Welcome to your general reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information about readings, personal readings, social media links, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. It would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started here, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings. Thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, such, such as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All your support really, really means a lot to me. And I do appreciate doing this for you guys. So if you would love to help to grow this channel, Please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, all that great stuff. We greatly appreciate it. All right, Cancer General. I just did your love reading. So now this is your general reading. Second half of August. I hope everybody's doing well. Hanging in there through the summer. Hasn't been too, too bad so far. But I expect we'll get really, really hot and humid weather coming up. Um, but... We're almost done, whether you're in summer or winter, depending on what part of the planet you're in. Um, hang in there, and we're almost going into the next season already. Where is time going? All right. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we may get a sign, element, planet energy for you. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. Uh, sort of like a little extra bonus message, but we do have for you Earth energy. So this can be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn around you in some way, shape, or form. This is a general reading, so it could be friend, family, co-worker, anything like that. If it is a uh, relationship, uh, you can fit this to a relationship if it fits in that way. You're more than welcome to do that. But the Earth energy here is very, very uh, stable, grounded energy. It's about growth, expansion, material things, um, and that sort of energy taking a very slow, practical approach to things, maybe. So I don't know. We'll see how that fits into your reading. All right. So with this deck here, we'll get your main energy message for the second half of August. See what's going on with you, Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? Second half of August. Spirit, please, thank you so much. What's going on with Cancer? What is the message they need to know, need to hear? What's their energy? All right. Ooh. So we have snake, number 14, and 14 is 5, is about change. And snake is about transmutation. And I always think of the snake as somewhat of a sneaky sort of energy, like, I don't know, you know, someone being a snake, like not a good energy, but this is about transmutation, which is about taking one energy and transmuting it into another type of energy. So if like you are feeling nervous and anxious about something, turning that energy into something more positive, like maybe something constructive, doing something and turning that nervous energy into something, um, exciting and passionate and uh, that kind of energy. But let me read number 14 a little bit about the sun. And here it is right here. Uh, let's see. The presentation of the snake card is a way of gently pointing out that you need to look deep within yourself and honor those aspects that pose the threat of making you ill. We have to hand them over so that we may see clearly again, allowing us to move forward with confidence in a renewed sense of purpose. Snake encourages us to look at our baggage, our burdens, and our pain and transmute them into new opportunity and new life. She offers us the chance to physically rebirth ourselves by strengthening us emotionally and deepening our relationship with spirit. So, yep, this is about taking energy and shifting it into another type of energy. So, thinking differently about things. But I also do see the snake as someone, if there's somebody sneaky around you or somebody you can't trust, you know, I get that kind of energy too. But we'll see, we'll see what comes out in your reading here. 
All right, so let's see what's on the butterfly. Uh, on the butterfly. <laughs> I just looked at the bottom. On the bottom of the deck, and we have butterfly transformation and transmutation. Wow. So, and we have three, which is a very social number to me. It's about teamwork, collaboration, socializing, reuniting, rejoicing, coming together, working together, um, compromising. So something here, transmuting and transforming for you. The second half and healing. Look, healing under that. So something here, healing and transforming and taking whatever energy that caused you to have to heal from and transmuting that into a newfound transformational energy here. And one in six, 16, which is seven, which is a very divine spiritual number. So maybe your spirituality and faith is helping you along the way, taking your personal power back. Wow. 22. And that's about unity. It can be self-unity, being truly aligned with yourself, coming back into unity with other people around you. So, wow. So let me put these over here. Let's see. My cat's in the box, in his box. So I hope you can't hear that. You're saying, what the heck is that scratching noise? My bathroom is like right there and he's in his box. <laughs> oh, pumpkin. Okay. All right. It's going to stink me out. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's get some clarity now for you. Cancer for the second half of August. It's a lot of big energy here now with, you know, taking your personal power back and healing over something that, you know, transforming from whatever you had to heal from and taking that newfound energy and transmuting it into something more positive and you're taking your personal power back. Wow, that's a lot of energy um, for you, Cancer. So, and maybe it was a very slow progress here. Earth energy is very slow. So maybe it was slow growth, slow progress um, in some way. The earth energy. And the eight, 26 is earth. And that's eight. And that is about movement, action, taking action and movement, communication. Wow. So let's see. Let's get some clarity now for cancer. The second half of August. Okay, that's too many. Wow, so we have the world, and I saw that at the bottom of the deck as I was shuffling. So this is closing out old cycles. This is earth. This is the earth energy coming out, clarifying with the earth energy with the universe. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, specifically Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. You could have earth in your heavily in your chart. Uh, could be your moon sign or rising sign, Jupiter sign here. Uh, so yeah, closing out cycles is starting new cycles. Um, the universe energy here closing out cycles that weren't serving you anymore and now starting a whole new cycle in life now by healing and transforming, taking your personal power back and all that energy that was no longer serving you, you've transmuted that into a more positive energy. And like I said, it could have been a very slow progress here forward with the earth energy. All right, so let's get some uh, clarity now. So we have the Ten of Cups. So Again, and you have the Ten of Cups in your uh, love reading. So, and this is your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, coming out right away here. So this is being self-fulfilled, having uh, fulfillment in every single way, being happy and joyous, happy home and family life. Wow. So being very uh, happy now and joyous and fulfilled now as you healed and transmuted and transformed and you've got your power back. Over what I don't know what your situation was. There was a very long process you had to go through, whatever it was for you. Uh, being totally happy now. Whole new world for you. King of Pentacles. And here's the earth energy now. Wow, spirit really coming through now with the earth energy and your energy. Wow. So if you don't have earth in your chart or anyone that is earth around you, this could just be the energy of this uh, for you. So the King of Pentacles, so being, you know, strong, stable, and grounded, uh, very secure and stable now. Uh, again, the King of Pentacles, the Pentacles are very slow energy. It's practical, it's smart. Um, 
and being in that very stable grounded energy now like being very strong and, and king or queen energy now wow okay so let's see more energy let's get one more around you cancer let's get one more for cancer energy around you for cancer we get one more Bring that one all right let's see let's see cancer well it came in reverse so now we got a lot of fire here so you could have a fire uh, person around you in some way uh, Leo Sag Aries but the two of wands energy here is making plans making decisions for the future moving forward so I feel like whatever whatever way you're going now in your life whatever uh, this new direction is now you're making plans you're making decisions you're going in a whole new direction feeling very fiery and adventurous and um, go-getting kind of energy and making those plans decisions go moving forward and it says completion so the four of wands here in reverse I mean upright it talks about the home the foundation the basis uh, it also means commitment marriage and that sort of thing um, but in reverse hmm. some people say this is a more of a like committed unexpected committed energy so maybe you know you've made your decisions here and now you're like unexpectedly committed to where you're going where you're moving to the new direction you're going into that's uh, more secure for you it's um, it's better for your basis and your foundation and being very fiery passionate moving forward being very determined here to be committed totally committed to this moving forward and being that in that very stable sturdy grounded energy and being just totally in like fulfillment and happiness and joy in every single way so let's get more clarity now for you so we have the two of pentacles and we have the oh my god i can't make this up holy shit two and two two of pentacles you know jug change you knew things had to change here with the one and four on the snake with the transmutation is about change changing one energy to another energy transforming in that like entertainers when they get nervous about going on stage they transmute that energy into um, a different kind of energy and they just get on the stage and they just perform you know they transmute that energy so really now change so this is you know tired of juggling around things the way they were just tired of it and now in knowing you needed to change to change the dynamic of everything in your life and balancing out your energies here wow because now you have the ten of pentacles so you have the ten of cups over here and now you have the ten of pentacles and this is both earth again coming through for you cancer so spirit confirming that ten of pentacles having total wealth abundance um, happy home and family life it's very stable uh, family life also having that prosperity wealth and abundance that you never have to worry about and having a very stable stable life wow being very stable being committed to that nothing's going to deter you off the decision you've made this whole new cycle in life because you transmuted transformed healed your energy it's been a long slow hot process but now you have your personal power and with this horse here you're moving forward fearlessly wow cancer good for you all right so let's get um I don't know let's see if we can get like what this is about your actual situation now give me three and I got three wow okay so we wow we <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I can't make this holy crap cancer we have the empress we have the ace of cups and we have temperance wow your actual situation is and this is you being in your empress power taking back your per back your personal power being in your empress energy knowing your value your worth being the mother of the deck the queen of all 
uh, the mother of all the queens, being in your empress power energy. Wow. Truth, clarity, love, compassion, stability, growth, expansion. Um, wow. Being, this is the birth of something new. This is uh, growth, expansion, new ideas, uh, new way of thinking, stable, sturdy, and grounded. Uh, wow. Empress energy. You could even change careers or now you're a boss. You're the owner of your own business. You know, what, whatever here um, it is for you, there was some sort of a big, massive shift, change in your life. Wow. Because now we have the Ace of Cups, so this is a brand new beginning. Very loving, compassionate energy, um, being in tune, in touch, being um, just spiritually lifted. You know, having new worth, self-worth, value, and love for yourself, those around you, and all your relationships. Divinely guided love and compassion. Wow, and being in that Empress energy. Wow. I don't know if some of you are pregnant, because this um, woman here on this card is pregnant, but that doesn't mean anything. That would just be the birth of a whole new life for you. And being divinely guided and being in, so in love with your life now. I mean, it could be a new relationship. The Ace of Cups is always a brand new beginning in love. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be self-worth, self-love, just very um, loving, compassionate environment in some way, a new beginning around you. And then we have Temperance here. So this is Sagittarius. So this is healing, balance, patience, um, divinely guided energy. So really balancing yourself out, having your balance as you found your balance here, Having patience with yourself as you transform through this um, major life cycle here. Wow. So let's get more clarity now for you. Oh, my card's upside down. Yeah, okay. That's why cards are upside down. I don't know how that happened. So we have the King of Swords and the Three of Cups. So the King of Swords here, um, air energy, takes action, um, standing in your truths, again, moving forward fearless, fearlessly, being, uh, s just speaking your truths, being clear, open, and honest, standing up for yourself, counting away bullshit around you, no longer serving you, kind of energy, having that truth and clarity of your life, who you are things around you and now we have the three of cups so you know this is the social number so you know having abundance with those family and friends co-workers being in a more loving compassionate place being happy rejoicing uh, uniting coming together and being very happy and loving and celebratory with those around you in your circle Wow all right so let's get some advice for you uh, and whatever I don't know it's just I just see very big life change new life cycle um, big big transformation here healing and taking your personal power back whatever happened to you before I mean it could be any kind of situation you just went through I'm not getting any storyline on that but you've overcome it very successfully you're in your power, your empress power, being very loving and compassionate, and balanced. Wow. Truth, clarity, standing up for yourself. One more. Okay. This is your advice. Here, so we have the five of swords and the nine of wands. So if you felt defeated with the air energy, I mean, this could have been your energy in the past, feeling very defeated of whatever happened to you. But you overcame it with the nine of wands and that strength. You overcame it with strength. You fought on with determination, passion, and drive. Yes, you were the wounded warrior. Yes, you were the uh, tattered soldier. But you know what? You didn't give up. You found and mustered up all your inner strength, confidence, ambition, and you just kept fighting and fighting and fighting on with that fiery, passionate energy. And you overcame. You overcame this defeated energy. You overcame who, whatever situation was here. You pinned it down and you overcame and you defeated it with all your passion, strength, and determination. Or you need to, that's your advice, or you need to, or you have. 
however that works for you. Cancer, wow. Kicking ass, are you, Cancer? All right, so let's get more clarity on that. Eight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So, again, your energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, again with the Earth energy. Wow. So, again, walking away from things no longer serving you and walking to your total fulfillment, what is best for you. Walking to your new path. As you, with the world energy here, leaving those things behind no longer serving you. Why? Because you have this brand new beginning here for you. You've transmuted, you transformed, you healed, you took your power back, and you have a whole new cycle in life now, and it's very stable, starting and grounded. Brand new, stable beginning here. Growth, abundance, wealth, prosperity, firm foundation. Planted that seed, growing and prospering into the future, long term growth and stability here for you wow so let's get um one card for your possible outcome one card oh i had one wow we have the lovers here the lovers here gemini and it doesn't necessarily mean uh, a lover this can just be you know the lovers is also about choices and it's being in tune and touch and aligned with your true self your true spiritual being or it can be just be you know aligned with those people places things and if it is a lover around you you know soul mating kind of energy it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic it could be people around you people uh friends family soulmates that kind of energy can be anybody not just a romantic partner it can be your pets you know and just being in tune in touch making the right decisions here moving forward and being in a soul mating kind of energy with yourself, friends, family, maybe even your romantic partner here, and things just aligning perfectly for you, and know that you've made all the right decisions, or you will make all the right decisions, and being true to yourself. Wow. So let's get more clarity here. Ten of Swords and the Empress. So, ear energy here, Libra Gemini Aquarius, and here's the Emperor which I believe is, um, that's Aries. So taking charge, taking control, overcoming, painful ending, ruin, heartache, pain, whatever painful ending you just went through that you healed, transformed, transmuted, took your personal power back. The emperor is being in power, taking control, taking your power back, being the ruler of your domain here. You have the emperor and the empress over here. Wow. So you're not fooling around here, Cancer. You are totally in control, in power, overcoming pain and difficulties and endings of the past, whatever that was for you. It was relationship, career, a difficult friendship or family relationship or whatever here, whatever here, overcoming it with greatness. Wow. So let's get some bottom of the deck energy for you cancer so we have the princess of cups page of cups so that's loving compassionate communication or offer coming into you loving compassion peace harmony kind of energy prince of swords again knight of swords taking that action movement forward truth clarity standing up for who you are what you believe in could be, um, I don't know if you keep the tabs of anybody online that's like doing research, watching things online. I don't know if that fits in here, but definitely here, uh, having that open, honest, clear cut communication, moving forward fearlessly, um, sometimes recklessly. So don't, don't try to get in that energy of being reckless. Seven of Cups, so water energy. So maybe, you know, you were confused, had to look at all your options, daydreamy kind of energy. But, you know, you weighed out all the pros and cons here for your future and you move forward fearlessly, communicating with love, compassion, or people communicating to you with love, compassion, peace, harmony, um, and that sort of energy. So again, here, death and rebirth, exactly. Whatever you went through here with the Ten of Swords and where was the Ten of Swords? Over here. Whatever painful, painful death ending doesn't mean someone died whatever painful ending death is just an ending of something anything but you rebirthed yourself through this whole situation fearlessly 
that's a Scorpio energy. So now, no, you could be single now. So maybe you went for, through a painful divorce here. I don't know. Oh, what's that one? What happened there? Um, you could have went through a painful divorce and now you're single. And there's your stability, your growth, your uh, independent energy, taking care of yourself. Nine is always independent. Death, rebirth, rebirthed yourself and overcame a difficult time. Maybe it was a little confusing at sometimes here, but you're moving forward fearlessly and having more loving, compassionate energy around um, those you love coming into you. All right, so let's get some extra advice. Let me see that. All right, put it there. All right, so let's get some extra advice and guidance for you, Cancer. This is a powerful reading for you, Cancer. So I don't know what you've been through, but you've overcome a great, great difficulty and you're so strong and stable and compassionate and loving now. Wow. Whatever you went through has really made you all the more better for whatever you went through. All right. So, Cancer, let's get some extra, way too many, extra guidance messages for you. Again, might have been a very slow process here with the Earth energy. But with the butterfly wings here, you really transformed yourself because we also have the butterfly over here. I just noticed that. Cancer, wow. Okay. What do we have here? Well, we got three. Let's see. We have Mercury, open communication. Get weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. So again, and I have that here about standing up for yourself, having open, honest, clear-cut communication, but being loving, compassionate, kind of energy also. Mary Magdalene, teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. And I don't think you let anything stop you. And you followed your inner call with the transmuti transmutation, healing, personal power, transformation. Sanat Kamara, light activation, shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. So I think you just followed your uh, your own light, your own way, your own path. You followed your, your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, and you followed your inner calling. And now you're shining your light with all the strength and courage, determination, compassion, love, power. Wow. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Isis, magic manifesting. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Exactly. Really focused on moving forward here in this new direction, this new whole cycle of life. Transforming out of a difficult time and coming out like a whole new person for you, Cancer. Cancer, if this didn't resonate for you, you could check the description box below for past readings and maybe something there will resonate for you. I do consider them all timeless, so I would say disregard the dates on them. I just date them so that people will know in what order they came out in. Um, so please go look that up if this didn't resonate for you. And if you do like my style, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general and love for all the signs, so don't miss out on that. Sending you lots of luck in your situation and sending you many light, love, and blessings that keep going on fearlessly and always wishing the best for you. Sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.